Thanks, Gavin. Well, for those of you who enjoyed last week's spicy hot recipe for chili con carne, we've got another TVAM speciality coming up now. Our crafty cook, Michael Barry, is here with more tips for a delicious weekend, we hope. Go on, then. What have you well, got? Well, what I thought we'd do, it's all this week, it's been in New York. Uh, Britain salutes New York. It's been a big deal thing. So I thought it might be New York feeds Good Morning Britain this oh. morning. And I've got a couple of American salads to do. The Americans are great salad makers. They don't just use them like we do, a bit of lettuce and cucumber on the side as a, as a kind of addition to the meal. They make meals of them. And they also have lovely names like Waldorf and Caesar. So I, Caesar is, is an American salad, by the way. He's not an Italian, although it's got some Italian connections. So what I thought we'd do, we'd start with a Caesar salad which is very unusual and chunky. You start with lettuce. Now, at the moment in the shops, which is nice, you can buy these marvellous American-style lettuces, which are sort of almost like tennis balls. You can bounce them, they're so solid. <laughs> and they're lovely and crisp, and instead of... then they fall apart. And instead of taking the leaves off one by one, the best way of doing them is to chunk them, to cut them with a knife, so you get a nice big piece of hearty lettuce. And then to break it up and give yourself bits and chunks of lettuce for this particular salad. What you also need are some croutons. Now those are really a sophisticated French name for tiny bits of fried bread. They are crisp, you fry them in oil having cut them out of an ordinary white sliced loaf. I've just fried these up to start with before we began. And you spread those over the salad and then a little, a little Parmesan cheese, the Italian bit of it, probably why it's called Caesar. Sprinkling of Parmesan cheese, and then the bit that makes it very special indeed. It's a special dressing. In this cup, I've got an egg, and I've poured boiling water over it, so it's marginally cooked. Now, the Americans say this makes a difference. I'm not sure about it, personally. I often uh, just use a raw egg, but they say it coddles it slightly and improves it. So you start with a egg that's just had a minute in hot water and you add to it about three tablespoonfuls of oil about two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice you can use bottled like I do or if you're feeling purist you can start with a whole lemon a little salt and this is where it becomes really American a pinch of sugar because most French dressings don't have uh, have sugar in them but in America they do you give that a little whisk to break it up. It makes a kind of mayonnaise, it really. And as you can see, it goes creamy and thick. And you just pour it over the salad, making sure some of it goes on the parmesan and crouton. And you let it set for a minute or two, and then you serve it. You shall have some of that really? in just a this, moment. Keep oh. your fingers out. Mm, I could really murder that. Yes, well, Caesar I'd salad. I'd it? rather you did Caesar okay. salad. The next one is another munchy salad. <laughs> munchy Caesar. I like the joke. I did, I did hear it. Oh, I just, I just thought, thought you didn't I'd, get it, I so. thought I'd ignore mm. it on yeah. the principle that you know you might stop. <laughs> some lettuce leaves. This time you do need the leaves out of the, uh, the iceberg lettuce but not a lot because the main part of the of the salad isn't lettuce at all the lettuce is merely the basis of it and you need some celery the nice crisp white celery you can get at the moment ends off it to get rid of it and you cut it across the grain the trick is to get it nice and fine slicing it like it was a loaf and you need nearly a whole head of celery because this will feed three or four people quite generously move that out of the way and when you get to the bottom of it and it starts to become really solid, you just take the last couple of bits off and leave it because otherwise you get the chunks too big. You put the chunks in a bowl, not straight onto the lettuce, otherwise you can't mix the salad dressing properly. And you add to them just two things, some walnut halves. Uh, you can again shell walnuts if you like, but it's really a very tedious way to make salad. So about 10 walnut halves and just give them a little crunch with your hand. So as you can see, as they go into the bowl, they're broken up just a little bit. It's about five or six. I'll put another two or three in like that. Right, and then some mayonnaise. Now I've made this mayonnaise myself and in a program in a couple of weeks time I'll be showing you how to because it's a really economic 
way of making marvellous creamy mayonnaise. And with summer coming, so they say, despite Commander Philpott's weather, I'm sure he's responsible for it, I don't think he just tells us about it. Uh, it's a useful thing to have, but American-style mayonnaise is important. Three tablespoonfuls, and now the bit that you might enjoy. An apple, which needs to be cored but not peeled, and here is a lovely way of doing it. This device is like a star, and you put it on the apple, and you push it down, and the apple That's opens good, like a flower, and the core comes out, bonk, and you I'm just... I'm quite impressed with that, actually. I'm quite impressed mm. with it, too, actually. I wish I'd invented it. <laughs> you turn it upside down, a little push on the bottom, and all the bits of apple fall out, and all you need to do is give that a bit of a stir, so you get the celery, apple, and walnuts mixed up. The, the peel on the apple, by the way, is important, because not only does it produce a nice flavour, it also looks nice. You get the red colour showing through at the same time. You pour it into the lettuce, pile it up nicely, and if you're feeling very gay, you can put a couple of three walnut halves on the top. Terrific. And here's your fork, and we shall now watch you. All right, well, I'll try this one, shall I? Right. Because I do quite like the look of this. Mmm. Surprisingly oh, nice, isn't it? Mm. The combination of the lettuce and the crisp, yeah. crunchy bits is Michael, quite extraordinary. Mm. I don't know I've got time to eat it all. No, I, I should hope not. Yes. Michael, thanks very much.